1,158 miles. That's the distance from Linesville, Pennsylvania to Las Vegas, Nevada, where former Conneaut Eagle turned slippery rock standout receiver Henry Litwin took the stage earlier this week. He was one of just eight players nominated for the Harlan Hill Trophy, given to the Division II National Player of the Year. But Henry's triumphs didn't come naturally. They were achieved with a relentless work ethic and a humble attitude. It's a journey that illustrates what it means to be a man from a small town with big dreams. From the lights of Linesville to the pinnacle of production. He's going to Las Vegas. Let's give a round of applause for Henry. Yeah! The journey of Slippery Rock senior wideout Henry Litwin, leading to a nomination for the Harlan Hill Trophy, reserved for the nation's top Division II athlete. But the path to success began far from the bright lights of fame, rather at Conneaut Area Senior High School. It was there Henry started to believe he could someday reach the top of Football Summit. Seeing how much that meant to the school and the area, I mean, that motivated me to just get better and such. But I, I could tell that I had something special that I could use it and uh, hopefully see it through all the way. After graduation in 2016, Litwin was offered full rides from multiple universities, but the whiteout turned them all down, choosing instead to walk on at Slippery Rock, a decision that mirrored his own determination to settle for nothing less than the best. They were talking about how they wanted to win the PSAC and how that was their goal. I came to Slippery Rock and Coach Lutz is talking about national championships and talking about competing against Division one talent. Head coach Sean Lutz remembers his confusion of then freshman turning down money to play for a team that had offered him none. But he also remembers how Litwin, always humble, simply asked to just give him a chance. He was such a quiet, he wasn't cocky about it. And I'm like, okay, Henry, you understand you really turned down full ride scholarships he had at some other places to walk on at Slippery Rock. You know, it ended up, ended up being a great story now, but it could have been the biggest mistake of my life. He wants Henry Litwin again, and he's got him, and he pulled it in, and he got a touchdown! In the years that followed, the milestones piled on one by one. Program records for career receptions, receiving yards, and of course, consistently high marks in academics. Accolades that Litwin says at this level of college football can only be achieved with having a love for the gridiron and an unmatchable work ethic. So at Division II, you truly have to love the sport because you're not going to have the fans, you're not going to have all the resources and all that. So you're playing just because you love the sport and nobody's really giving you a chance to move on. Sometimes you only have a couple thousand fans in the stands uh, compared to 30,000 fans, you know. So it, it's, it's not easy, but just the love of the game gets you through it. In the off season, when he's lifting or when he's training, we got to tell him you're not doing something today because he just is overtrained. He has that relentless approach and he takes that same model, everything he does in life. As he departs for Sin City, Litwin hopes his desire for more will lead him to the professional stage. Even if not, he says his work in football is nowhere near its end. And the accolades and all that stuff's cool, but I just feel like there's more I have to do. Uh, which is a blessing and a curse because, you know, I can never relax, but, I've, but I always want to just keep striving for the most I can get. If you had a message that you wanted to share with young players or any Division II, Division III college football program that want to be just like you, what would that message sound like? The opportunities, they don't come often, but when you do get that opportunity, you have to take advantage of it, but you also have to be ready. So. You can't just feel bad for yourself because you're not a starter, you're not getting reps. You have to be ready for that opportunity and uh, I'm fortunate enough to have been ready. Maybe Litwin's big of a, biggest achievement happened off the field. He was one of just 13 players to be nominated for the academic Heisman and was the only Division II athlete in the country to get that recognition. A journey that exemplifies why talent alone is just one ingredient in the best recipe for success. Reporting tonight, Isaac Petcash, Erie Sports Now.